Hey guys, so as you can probably hear from all of the ambient noise and June bugs uh, in the background, I am outside right now, but it is such a beautiful day. And I don't know, it's just been a really good morning so far. Um, this video is like kind of random, but I just felt so inspired to make it because I don't know, I've just been like really doing a lot of thinking about intuitive eating and um, kind of like healthy ways of changing your body while still accepting and loving yourself as you are and stuff like that. So I'm going to get into it a little bit, but I just wanted to make a video because so basically all summer I've just been eating whatever I want, not caring a single bit about like the nutrition aspect or like health aspect of anything. Actually, I've been doing that longer than the summer. Um, and then I haven't really been exercising. So like all winter until I moved into this house, I was exercising every second day for half an hour. And I was like feeling really good, like mentally and physically, just feeling like so energetic and strong and like mentally clear and happy and I talked about that in a few videos um, on my main channel and then when we moved into this house and we got Willa we just totally like stopped any sort of exercise routine and we're just like focusing on her and now it's August and over the summer we've just honestly been like walking her and swimming occasionally like a couple times a week um, in the lake or in the ocean so we haven't really been exercising anymore and Greg and I just kind of decided like so we went on vacation last week um, to my family's cottage and we went to the beach every day and we swam and it was like so much fun ate whatever we wanted ate like so much junk every day it was amazing it was like the best time and then now we kind of like got home and we're like we just don't really feel that good like right here like our stomach always just feels kind of like heavy gross like over full and stuffed and we just both notice like we just feel not lazier but just like more lethargic and just like I don't know just not as energetic like when I try and stand up off the floor it's like kind of a struggle and when I used to do yoga all the time and just like ran and use my muscles I could just like stand up and sit down so easily and so yesterday we decided that we just wanted to kind of just start paying a little bit more attention to what we're putting in our bodies because for like so many months we've been eating out a ton and eating out at restaurants not only is more expensive and honestly my bank account is like screaming at me for it but also it's just like they use so much extra like salt and other things that doesn't make you feel good when you eat that way many many weeks and months in a row so we just decided that we wanted to start kind of like buying groceries like buying set groceries once a week kind of planning for the week not meal prepping but just like making a plan about what we want to make and eat so that when it comes to like Thursday we're not like oh we ran out of food like let's go to whatever restaurant so we want to start just kind of like thinking a little bit more about food and then also just exercising or like moving our body in some way a little bit more which is fine that's like a totally normal thing to want to do but for me I kind of struggle with this sort of thing because for so many years of my life it was like I didn't like the way my body looked so I'd get all motivated to like start eating healthier or like start like an eating plan and then start doing like the squirrel um start doing like the bikini body guide workouts or like hit workouts or circuits and i would be like yes i'm gonna do it like every second day or like every day or whatever and i always hated it and it just like made me kind of, it just made me like hate my body more even though i was technically like improving on my health and i struggle with that on and off like all the time and so when i started looking into intuitive eating i started kind of like my self-love and body acceptance journey I just like did away with all of those things and any sort of activity I did I only did because I wanted to not because I felt like I wanted to try and change my body and with eating I just gave up on any sort of ways of eating apart from being vegan but that's just kind of like an ethical choice for myself all right bird <laughs> um, yeah so apart from being vegan I was just like I'm just gonna eat whatever whenever don't care what time of day it is don't care what it is like just gonna eat literally everything and that honestly helped me get to a point of self-acceptance and self-love that I had never 
been at before like my body was bigger than it ever has been and like less toned and whatever but I honestly just let go of all my insecurities and I just felt so happy in my body and I still do but I feel like I'm at the point now where I want to try and find a balance between like maintenance and upkeep of physical activity without getting into the headspace of doing it to look a certain way because that's kind of when I get to that slippery slope of like then deciding that my body isn't good enough right now and then it just kind of starts a vicious cycle and when my friend Hannah and I did our intuitive eating course that we did back in July there were some people who were asking like I find it really hard to try and you know eat well or like exercise because it kind of sends me back into like an eating disorder mentality and I was like I totally understand what you mean and then it kind of got got me thinking when I started feeling like I wanted to exercise a bit more and just like pay a little more attention to what I'm eating I was like how do I do this in a mentally healthy way for myself that it won't kind of spiral into me feeling like I have to do this because I'm not good enough as I am right now so I decided that I kind of wanted to like document it in a few videos give you guys updates tell you kind of like my mindset around it and like how I'm framing it for myself so that I continue to feel just as loving and just as accepting towards myself even though I'm kind of working towards a book not a better version of myself but just like a version of myself that can get up off the floor easier okay not that it's hard to get up off the floor but it's like ugh. you know you know that sound you make like <laughs> when you like stand up. if my neighbors are out they're gonna be like what are you doing um, but yeah it's just that sound you make when you get up off the floor that's like the way I know that my muscles need some action is like when I start like dreading having to get up off the floor to go get something because I love sitting on the floor and whenever I'm like physically active and like doing yoga and stuff getting up and down off the floor is so easy and so that's kind of like my measure of when my like legs need a little bit of a workout and swimming is like really good and fun, but I'm gonna be honest, it's not like I go swim laps in the lake and get like a workout, it's more just like swimming for fun. So my, my muscles haven't really gotten a workout. So basically I want to try and just like document in general how I'm approaching like the food and exercise part of this because I wanna show you that it's totally possible to want to feel your best without feeling like you have like you're not good enough already and without feeling like you are trying to fix something that's broken because you guys know that I believe everyone is perfect just as they are but I also don't think it's like anti-intuitive eating or it's a bad thing to want to just be a little bit more mindful about what you're eating and how much you are being active so to start it off um, also, I just want to let you know this isn't going to be some big like drastic change at all. It's probably just going to honestly be like a few small things here and there week by week seeing what works and what doesn't for me, but I'm just going to tell you guys kind of how it started off today. So um, today I decided, so for the last couple months, I don't know, Greg and I have been having super like salty, savory breakfast, like breakfast sandwiches. Tim Hortons just got the Beyond Meat breakfast sandwich, so I've had like probably a hundred of those. I don't even know how many. No, probably like 20, but um, we've been having those. We've been making our own breakfast sandwiches. We've been having smoothies sometimes, but those were like really spike and crash my blood sugar, so I usually have a smoothie and then something right after it. And overall, just like not having breakfast that actually make me feel good like if I had a, if I can like tell you the one breakfast that makes me feel amazing I can't do that because there isn't one breakfast that makes me feel amazing sometimes a breakfast sandwich does make me feel amazing like it sustains my energy it's exactly what I wanted but then sometimes I just have it out of convenience and it's not actually what I really want but it's there and I'm busy so I get it and then I feel kind of gross and I'm like eh, it's not really what I wanted long story short I'm not ever going to like set out a meal plan or tell myself like I'm gonna eat this for breakfast you know whatever days but today I really did feel like having oatmeal so I had the oatmeal that's on my blog the recipe I'll link it below and it was so good and Greg texted me it's like 
I don't have a watch. It's like 10 something now and he went to work a couple hours ago and he texted me and he was like, is it just me or do you feel healthy AF? And I was like, honestly, that oatmeal made me feel so good. I just feel like very stable. I haven't had like a blood sugar crash yet. I even had coffee after it and I feel like very just stable and good. I don't, I'm not like shaking or anything, which sometimes happens if I have a smoothie because it really just kind of like spikes your blood sugar. And also I don't feel super dehydrated like I did for the past while when I would have breakfast sandwiches all the time because they're just really salty and then I have to drink a bunch of water and then that made me feel bloated. So overall today having oatmeal felt amazing. I'm not saying I'm going to have it all the time, but since it's summer, I'll probably make some overnight oats sometimes. Again, I'll probably have like a breakfast sandwich when I want or need one. Um, smoothies sometimes and what other breakfast? Oh, I want to try making some vegan omelets with either like chickpea flour or minimalist baker has one that uses mung bean split mung beans or something and it looks like a real omelet so I'm gonna try making that and then today for activity I just did some really really light yoga and stretching and my body feels so much better right now it's crazy like I was so stiff when I woke up and now I just feel like just really good and really stretched out and not like sore like if I do this it doesn't hurt my back and I just I didn't do like any sort of yoga program it was just like for 20 minutes I did kind of like wide leg stretch um, I stretched like the this muscle by doing um, pigeon pose I did some downward dog some forward folds and just hung out there like hanging to stretch out my back and it was amazing tomorrow I'll probably take Willa for a walk but we didn't need a walker today because she's going to daycare but we'll probably do a walk and then some yoga after that. So yeah, like I said, it's very small changes. I don't know what I'm gonna eat for the rest of the day today, but Bridget is coming over and we're gonna go to the grocery store, buy some things to make some like big batch meals, like maybe a stew and a curry, just so that, like I said, when it gets to Thursday and I ran out of groceries, I'm not like, okay, let's go spend $50 at a restaurant. It's like, okay, I have this thing in the freezer I can take out good for the wallet and also just good for feeling a little bit better because although I love restaurant food and I love trying out restaurants a lot of it does make me feel pretty bad afterwards even though it tastes amazing and I love eating it um, it often makes me feel pretty bloated because they use a lot of garlic and salt and stuff like that so that was a ramble I also got this tie-dye shirt when I was on vacation and it's like I can't tell if it's ugly or cute but I'm pretty sure it's cute it's like really really long and big and baggy but it just feels so vacationy and so summery and I love it I don't know if I should do weekly videos let me know if you want like an update every week I don't know how long this is gonna go on but I do want to document just like if I end up feeling better or not I thought about taking like a before picture of how I look and then I was like honestly I don't even know if I'm gonna look that much different and do I even want to start comparing myself? Like I know that a lot of people like taking pictures to see progress and stuff, but like I said, I can very quickly start kind of like a slippery slope towards feeling like the way I look is not good enough. So I think I'm just gonna go based off how I feel. But yeah, besides that, I'm not really going to care or focus too much on how my body looks because I just want to love and accept it no matter what it looks like. I don't like any sort of rigidity because as soon as I try and like impose rules, I start thinking about ways to break them. And I don't like being told what to do. And I feel like even when I make myself a plan, my alter ego is literally like, mm -mm, we are not doing that. But that is going to be everything for right now. I hope this video was interesting. I would love to hear you guys' thoughts. Um, thank you so much for watching if you've made it to the end. I love you all so much and thank you for sticking with me on this channel. Let me know what other videos you wanna see, see if I can get around to making them. Um, but yeah, I love you guys. I hope you're having an amazing day and I will see you in the next one, whenever it is, maybe next week, we'll see. Let me know how often you wanna see updates on this. Okay, bye.